Extraction! <laughs> the mutilated body of a man found last night was identified as Mr. Jack Keaton. The 48-year-old was discovered in his flat in the Newtown area. Mr. Keaton and his new bride were reported missing after he failed to meet up with the family for the evening celebrations. Mr. Keaton was one of the founder members of the growing craze Star Caching. His technical wizardry was attracting attention from the armed forces and the NASA. Starcash is the latest game for the smartphone. This high-tech treasure hunt come satellite orienteering uses a GPS system and is growing in popularity. He also introduced the popular million dollar cash game. The whereabouts of his wife Sandra Keaton is still unknown. Yeah. If you don't come beyond that point, please. Right, okay, no okay. problem, sir, no problem. <clears throat> Want a right balance? Right, give me two sex for the night. <clears throat> I'm standing outside the house of Jack Keaton. The millionaire founder of Star Cash, the new craze for the smartphone, was found murdered at home. Local residents have been shocked to hear about the horrific crime here in this leafy suburb of Glasgow's south side. He was found after relatives grew concerned when Jack and his new bride Sandra failed to appear at their own wedding reception at a local hotel. Police are now asking for any information on the whereabouts of Sandra Keaton. This is Kat Harvey, South Scotland News. Please. Mo, the dog. What is it? 
let me see. This weekend. It's too short notice. Please, Mum. Please. I've never been on one. Please. I suppose we could do with a break. I'll phone Simon, see what he thinks. Why does Simon have to come? Why can't it just be us, Mum? Just us, because he likes it. He's the one that introduced us to Star Cash in the first place, remember? You two are going to have to learn how to get on. Mo, don't make me tell you again, the dog! Hi, Simon. I'm fine. Do you know about this event that's happening this weekend? The Cuddle Monsters are keen. Yeah. The special event. Yep. Okay, bring stuff for the weekend. Mo! How many yards are we away? We're right at GZ. GZ? Ground Zero. Come on, Lara, keep up with the terms. Anyway, we didn't even need the GPS. The hint gives it away. It's good to talk. All phone box caches of that hint. Right, come on, quick, let's get in. <laughs> Father, terrible. Okay, got to go. Oh, she's back with Bye. Music. Hi, huh? Don't hire me. Get out. I need in there. Hurry up. Move out, you. Stupid muggles. Why do they call them muggles? I don't know. I think it's got something to do with the Harry Potter films. Well, I wish she'd hurry up and pot off out of here. We've still got a tent to put up and stuff to organise. I haven't my dinner yet. Ah, oh, but it's I found it first. I've not had one of these yet. This could be the one. That father of Riley must have really pissed you off, sister. Get him. <laughs> Here we go. I'm and Doug get here first. Do you know, I'm sure he's tapping into your phone lines. Listen to your conversations just so we can get the cashy first. Oh well, looks we'll need to wait for her found it first. Awful time in the morning. So, is she sane? No chance. Did you hear what she did to prison officers? Well, I'm not here to make up the numbers, so I'm guessing she's no pussycat. 
All right. Feet. Hat. Okay. Listen up, everybody. Moira Sweeney escaped from the transport vehicle last night. We've had a reported sighting in the last hour. We will sweep the area at all times maintaining sight of each other. We do not think she holds a weapon, but she is a danger to authoritative figures. She is not a danger to the public as far as we know. As such, they have not been informed as yet. We do not wish to worry the local populace unduly. Firearms will be used as a last resort only. Morrison here as our armed officer. Larson and myself as flying squad will be armed as standard. Okay, so you know the procedure. We get to the woods for dawn, we get this bitch in handcuffs for nine o'clock and we'll be at the pub for eleven. Okay, our designated driver is your tube. Is your boob. Yeah, Lou. Yeah. Okay, the big man here is our designated driver. Let's move out. Huh. What is this? 70s cup show? <laughs> Flying squat in my arse. He's one banjo playing funny. Tell me about him. Listen, I plugged that in all night. Come on! Oh, jeez, the thing you do for? Hi. You get technical with me, pal. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oh, fuck's Come on! I'll tell you, ah, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting fingerprints. I'm going to do an axis. All right, axis? Uh -huh. what? What's an axis? What are you talking about? You get one of grind? Ha ha ha. Maybe you need to move out, I need to hold the phone up or something. Right, phone holding in progress. Right, what's the good of it up there? Oh, okay, I can't see it. What's this sort of action you want, eh? Jeez, <laughs> I'll get another wee shot. Come on! Fucking work! You sure you switched it on? Aye, it's on. Try switching it on, I'll come back on. Maybe you've got a connection. Aye, I hope, it's a kill. Well, that's the last one set. Last one's out of the hardest. You run out of good places to hide them. Okay, we all know what this story is, so let's get busy. We'll spread out and make our way through the forest, maintaining visual contact. We should have our lady in no time at all. Let's go! Hot. No, she didn't go too long, it's what grounds there just now. Why do we have to stop and look for it in the way? We've got a full day of ahead of us. Hi. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. You guys looking for the cash? Of course you are. Who else would be rummaging around here, eh? <laughs> I'm Justin. My cashier name is Diamond Dog. The famous diamond dog. Aye. So, you're the one that always gets in the log before us? That sort of thing happens. Just a 
Mentirosos. Aha, this is the classic birdhouse cash. Four, four, six, eight, five. Okay, and then I just punch that in. Four, four, six, eight, five, and. <laughs> Ah, it's not the million dollar cash, but... I'm going to the event. I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> okay, that's it, Log. Your turn. Um, if you would mind. Thanks very much. I think you shot your turn. Thanks. So I'm going to take the golf ball and I shall leave the travel bug. Hmm. That's a shame. I could have had that. Well. If you'd have got the cash first. No, I'd pity that, innit? Yeah. Thanks very much. How are you Diamond dog.
me. Hi, kids. Hi, Fergus. Hi, Mo. Hi, Justin. Hi, Nicole. What do you look like? <laughs> Funny. Fanny. See you later, kids. Bye. You're a safe and relaxing journey, and welcome to the best kept secret paradise. <laughs> My name. Thank you very much, Mr. McHugh. Thank you for that very kind welcome. Of course, Donald. Uh, Mr. McHugh is one of our local villagers who's more than excited to welcome us all here today. <laughs> this event is tinged with sadness as we hear of the death of one of our own. The most talented, the finest cacher ever, Jack Keaton. You may have seen some of his caches on the internet, not forgetting his million dollar cache, which has still to be found, so you never know. I met Jack a year ago at this very event, and I can't quite believe what's happened. I'm dedicating today's event to him. From now, this event will be known as Jack's Cash. Go so let the event begin! <laughs> sorry we're late folks, we're a couple of cash and dashes on the way. Yes, yeah, sorry, we get caught up. Uh, well anyway, onwards and upwards. Uh, the first cash is a straightforward cash and dash, and we do have some easier caches for the rookies. Uh, but we do have a special late afternoon event for the more experienced cashers among you. And details of this will be posted on the site for you to peruse. Or oh, if you're staying over with us camping, please make sure you pitch your tent in the designated area. So please welcome our rookies and refreshments are provided for everyone. Yay! <laughs> To hurry up. I'm going to lose an FTF. What's that? Pardon? An FTF? <laughs> Muggle alert! <laughs> What's that? A. An FTF is a first to find. The cash. B. You're a muggle. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wear ones. But now that you've joined the, the growing ranks of cashers, you're now considered a rookie. Oh, cool. <laughs> Who was that guy, Donald? Oh, Mr. McHugh. He was here last year. He does the food for the barbecue. The word inbred springs to mind. Right. Come on. find the tunnel. There are two cords. Which one is which? Right. Yeah? Here goes.
Oh, what is your game, eh? Star cash. Don't get smart, you dickhead. Listen, see when you decided to walk out in the cold in your wens to pursue your weird... Bowie fetish, whatever the fuck this is. You walked in for good. Stop stalking us, you freak. Listen, this better be the last event I see you in, right? You're upsetting the kids. My kids. Our kids. Me and the Coles kids. I'm fucking telling you, keep away, right? Simon! Simon, we found it! Coming! Darling. I'm away for a wander. You okay to hold the fort? I've been to many of these events, many of these events, and this has to be the worst event for, well, the attendance. Oh, and those selfish cashers, very selfish. They, they fill in a whole page in the logbook. I mean, why would you fill in a whole page in the logbook? That's just selfish, oh, one line would suffice. I remember, we did one in Edinburgh. Uh, yeah, uh, that's where I live, you see. And we, we had a great time, and, and we all stood outside the castle, holding our hands and, and just making a big smiley face for the webcam. Justin? 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 Oh. These trees are playing havoc with my GPS system. This is typical of bad caches. Why couldn't we have just went to the nearest cache? We've been walking for an hour and we still haven't even found one. The reason we bypassed all the others is so we can be guaranteed a first to find. Oh, I don't care. What's the difference between a first and a second anyway? Hi guys. Oh, How many have you found? Oh, this is Wendy. Hi there. Are you enjoying it? It's great, isn't it? <laughs> have you found the one near here? No. Uh, uh, we found three others though. <laughs> I'm doing alright. And the weather's kept up too. I like your hair. <laughs> What's your star cash name? I don't have one. You rookies are so cute. <laughs> you need one. Where do you live? Glasgow. Where? West End. West End Wendy! <laughs> oh! Bingo! <laughs> 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 to find. Stand on hockey. That's on tree.
Oh, I'm so late. Where have you been? Everybody's back and they're all looking for food. Could you get the barbecue started? I got held up. Has Donald arrived with the meat yet? I'll see it here. I'm so late. Aye, you are late. The coordinates are over here. Over this way. Thank you. Sorry I'm uh, sorry I'm late. Where's my honey? Oh. Thanks for all your help, Donald. Uh, those local fillet steaks that you got specially for Cynthia and I. Oh, yes. Most excellent. But if we decide to come back next year, could you maybe not make so many speeches? I mean, I don't mind, but the cashers come here to listen to the organiser. That is me. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, it's a wee bit more for it steaks. There's ten or show up. Thank you. Right, yeah. Hi. X marks the spot. Blinding the dike. Bursting for a piss, can you cover me? Of course I will. If I can't look out for the only female in this lot, who can? Larson! I've spotted the target. If you're taking the piss. Thanks for that. I'm not fucking joking, contact the gov now. Oh, and why is it have that bloody bottle of water? Charlie one, Charlie one, we have contact, we have contact. Jesus, I'll look away for a second. Through my belt, she disappeared. I I'm sure she went that way. Can I have your attention, everyone? It's time for the main event for you professional cashers. Now, we have a few of us left. Those are the Cuddle Monsters, Cash Raiders, West End Wendy, Diamond Dog. And as I don't know where these caches are myself, I also will be joining you. My handle is The Hulk. These four caches of high difficulty levels. They were placed by the repairman. Click on your unique cacher name and you will be selected for your first cache coordinates. We all should have different locations for this first cache. That stops us all getting in each other's way. After you find this cache, you will automatically be given the coordinates to the second cache. Whoever reaches the second cache first and is the first to find wins the event coin. Right, let's do this. Charlie One, Charlie One, we have a problem. We have a problem. Did you hear that? Was that someone screaming? But that's stupid West End Wendy. I don't know why she's not allowed to do these caches. This is her first event. Maybe her and Justin are hitting it off. Jealous? Oh, piss off. Do you know what? You can do this stupid event on your own. Come on, kids. Wait, no. What, 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 what have you been so touchy for? Come on, you two. No, Mum, I want to stay. Hurry up.
Hey, Fa. Papa, a hundred jobs. I don't know. Look what he's got on his neck. What? It's immovable, trackable. But he isn't at this event. Is that she? My bit's the anonymous casher. See the one that sets the cashies up, what do you think? Maybe. But I'll tell you what, if it is a he, then he better start working out because those man boobs are terrible. <laughs> well, I'm intrigued because he or she would know that it's movable trackable. If that's the case, why is it wearing it? Why do that? Why are we not looking for the cash? Good point. We can check its location later. Fergus! I'm just taking Mo to the toilet, okay? Don't move away from here. We won't be long. Okay, listen up everybody. This is now a murder scene. Nobody touches anything. We have to wait in forensics. Right, Myra, we need to find her now. Redmond, what way did she go? She ran through the woods. Now listen up, and listen good. I don't want to see anybody pissing about. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Thanks for that. Morrison, you wait here with the body. Aye, sir. The rest of us will form the Arrowhead Formation again, but this time stick to it. Okay? I suggest you go for a shit or a piss before we set out, and that way we won't get lost. Firearms are to be deployed. I've spoken to the suits. We have authorization. Let's get this done quickly. There's been a further development. It seems that a group of ramblers have some kind of event going on that we weren't informed about. It seems our friend here has strayed away from the group and got lost, as there doesn't seem to be any rambling tracks around here. On that basis, do not shoot on sight. Be careful and be quiet. I don't want to hear so much as a midge's fart. <laughs> Toilet humour. You can't beat it. <laughs> Sir, you don't happen to have any toilet paper, do you? I... Oh. Archie! Sure, sure! Go away! Go away, Archie! Fergus! What are you doing here? Dad, you gave me a fright. You shouldn't be out here on your own. <coughs> Wendy, would you take Fergus back to the camp for me? This cash is far too difficult for you anyway. Well, I suppose so. Okay. Now go! Off you go! I won't be long. And remember, I may be a millionaire by then. Oh! <laughs> There is power in the trees. To open the cache, stop when the lights turn green. That's traffic. No, traffic lights, but the opposite. These are red. So that must be the light that turns green. Hi. Press the red buttons. Thank you, anonymous casher. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> come on. I 
going to be hard. What do you think of it? Maybe just avoiding it? I'm surprised, Simon. I thought this match with cash would be right up your street. Dude. But Why are you being so nice? I thought you hated me. <laughs> Alright, we don't exactly go on, do we? Okay. You know me. You know how much I love this challenge just as much as you. I wouldn't like to see a fellow star cash on my suit and that's the honest truth. I've defined my first either. We're both going the same way. How about we just help each other? But what about her? Did you know some kind of fucking nut? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We only met five minutes ago. Uh, no, but she's safe enough. Just let's do it, man. You can call me Diamond Dog. Arr okay. Call me Cuddle Monster. <laughs> that much? Yeah. Thank you. Two chords. Which one is which? That's right. That's good. What do you think? Tell me that's not a level five. No, it's an accidental! Ah! Sorry, Diamond Dog. You want to sign it? Sorry. Seem a wee bit unconscious. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna go and collect my winner's medal now, pal. Well, wait, listen. Somebody just fell here. It's been a terrible accident. Oh, who's that? What the hell was that? Fergus? 
Fergus! Fergus! Larson, hold, hold your fire! Hold your fire! Stop! Okay, come slowly towards us with your hands up. Have we stumbled onto some sort of shooting range or something? I think we frightened your dog. We don't have a dog. Larson, go and you have a look and see if you can find that mutt. Okay, hands down, come on. Calm down, take a deep breath. What is it? Fergus has disappeared. He must have gone into the woods to find Simon. They've been away for ages. I tried phoning Simon, but he's not answering. And did you hear that sound? It was like a gunshot. Look, I was looking for Brendan as well. He's been away for far too long. There must be a problem with the phone master or something. But listen, the way they'll know I've gone that far. There's loads of cashers out there. Somebody will find them. And the shot, I did hear that, but it's the shooting season. But it's away or there. It's miles away from here. Look, come on, come on. Mo's looking really worried. Come on, we better go and get Bamood, you can wander over there and see what's what. And be careful. Our friend Myra might not like canines. It's Yagup. Yagup. By the way, I thought her name was Moira. Oh, whatever. Don't we need backup, Gov? It's up to you, Phillips. You and Redmond head towards the country road, see what you can find. And you two, what are you doing here in the middle of nowhere in this hill? Aye, what is it? I'm busy. Missing? I don't care anything about that, but... All right, I'll just come down the road. Okay, no bother. It's really weird. I can get Mr. McHugh, but Brendan's phone just keeps ringing and ringing. Anyway, look, I'll try Simon again. Did you hear? Did you get any help? Can you call an ambulance? Oh, bummer! My phone's broke. It cost me a fortune. Can you help me? So you're telling me you know where she is? I know exactly where she is on my movable trackable. Somehow this woman's wearing it. What's this? Movable trackable? We well, said she was wearing a distinctive boiler suit, so yeah. that has to be her. When me and the wife seen her, she was wearing my trackable. It's like a, a dog tag, and there's a GPS system on it, so whoever's wearing it can be tracked by the GPS system. I've been tracking her all day, but it seems that her location's stuck in one point, strangely enough. Let me see that. So this is tracking her location? Yeah. That's good. You hang about. I'm going to need you to gather information about this star cash business. And you? You're local? Aye, that's right, aye. aye so you'd know the, the lay of the land and such? Aye, that's right, aye. Let me see that. That's a lovely kind of wee map kind of thing, it's nice. 
So, I've located the target. Larson, get your kit together. Let's go. Hey, um, Mark. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you mind if I borrow your wee gadget, Mark? Let's go. Sharp! Sharp! Come in, Sharp! There is something weird going down here! Sharp! Sharp! Do you read me, Sharp? Sharp! I'm... I, I'm Justin. The cashers call me Diamond Dog. Are you a casher? I can see you've got a trackable. Ah! I'd have loved to vlog that one. If I had me smash my phone. I'm Moira. Uh, I love you, David. Thank God you're here. Did she tell you where I was? I thought you were dead. <laughs> I mean, the last time I saw you, you were all splattered in the cliff there. <laughs> the last time you saw me? Have you been here before? Did you bring any help? No, I didn't bring any help. Remember, I want to help you, you freak, you weirdo. You lot, you just take, 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 and you... You pretend to be all equal, you tidy up the countryside as we go along. Ha! <laughs> like some fucking religious cult! You take people's lives away! Because of some stupid high-tech treasure hunt, eh? Train spotters. Well, you know what? It's payback time. <laughs> you heard the, uh... Beardman, eh? Yeah. It, it, technically, he's brilliant. He's the best catcher in the business. Ah. Now you're looking at him right now, yeah? And now you'd be murdered by him. No! <laughs> I'm just here to take you back to the car. Remember me? Donald! Sharp! Sharp! Come in, Sharp! There is something weird going around the back here, man! What is this? Pookie! Thank you. 
don't go with that man. He's a bad man. He will hurt you. Come with me. Go. Stay safe. Go to David. Diamond dog. I'll distract the bad man. Go. Smoke, son. <laughs> Bad for your health. Kill you. Look at Sweetie's now back at the camp. You want to come with me? I'll take you back. She's moving again. She's heading up the hill. Keep moving. We'll corner her. Move. Hey! What's the holds of fire? What's, what's your game, pal? Just hold on here. I'm here to help. I'm not a land in here like the back of my hand. I feel like a great tool down there with all the women at the camp. So come up and give you a hand, you know. See if you go that way. Aye. Takes you up to the road. It's the only way out here. Especially if you're if you're on the run light. No. Aye. Good. It's the only way to go. Come on. Well, All thanks right. very much. Good You've got everything under control. Thank you. Thanks for your help. Cheers. Where is she? I've got me this thing in my bob of yours. She should be she should be right here. But but she's not. Do you hear that? Aye. Come on. Something over here. It's over here. I heard the noise. I heard the noise around here. Something around here. Slasher catcher. <laughs> <laughs> Fox Trot 1, do you read me over? We've had a visit from the local police. Turns out there's another psycho out here, goes by the name of Donald McHugh. They want to question him about a murder, over. Do you read me? Shit, that's all we need. Do you read me?
Look up and watch out for monkeys. Congratulations, you have found an earth cache. There are no coordinates for this puzzle, just follow your instincts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard the boy there. We need to get moving. Earth cache? Christ, look at me. I've got earth in places I'm pretty sure I shouldn't. Now let's go. Uh, hang on, an earth cache basically describes earth elements. The puzzle ends up describing the element that it ends up leading you. Then you claim the cache. Sod the cache. Where the hell do we get out of here? Hang on, if we follow the instructions, it might take us exactly where you want to go. Right, just follow your instincts, but you will need to use your power to enter your destiny. Well, my instincts say, let's head for that opening over there. Come on. Can you smell that? What? It smells like it's coming through that direction. Oh, look. And Instinct. That branch. It looks like a tea. Look, instinct tea. That's it. Through the stinky tea branch. Come on. That smell. <coughs> it is shit. You know, like slurry. <coughs> like a stench off that Matthew the farmer. Aye. Okay, this is definitely the portal. Live long and prosper. I tell you what. Whoa, 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 whoa! This is a star cache. There were a way to get in here without force. We just need to figure it out. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. Look, there's a young child in perilous danger nearby here. We don't have time to piss about doing a scene for Star Trek. Star Trek, that's it! Live long and prosper! Live long and prosper! Oh. <laughs> yes! The result? Get in. Oh. Oh, shit, man! It's stinking in here! Jesus Christ! We're <laughs> You found the air cash! Yep. Shame another one! <laughs> We've got to get out of here! It's locked! We're locked in! Well, that shit's slurry! I'm sinking! Oh shit, this is not good! Oh no shit, Sherlock! Oh, this is not good! Help! Help! Wait, wait a minute! Stop struggling! I see an old cowboy film! Oh, fuck off, you prick! <laughs> Help! 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 Yeah, I'm fine, but Dad's hurt. Just stay there. I'm coming down. Be careful down there. We're on our way. Redmond! Have him. Justin, Justin, are you okay to stand? What happened? Where am I? Ah, ah, my leg. Looks like you've taken a bit of a tumble, sir. Don't worry, we'll find him. Come out! Whoever you are, come out! Ah, it's Archie. Come on, Archie. Come on, baby. Come on, come on. Oh, ah, listen. This is going to sound really weird and don't go off at me, okay? But if Archie was called Lassie, this would definitely be a we need to follow him, he's trying to tell us something moment. Look, come on Archie, where's Fergus? Where is he? Redmond! Come on, sir. Fergus? We need to go find him, come on. There's a lot of bad bastards with you, sir. You don't have to uh, <laughs> Come on. 
in this place. Hold on. Make the sign, you Vulcan. Put it on the keypad like Star Trek. Are you okay? Come on. Come on. Take care of us for here. Moira! Moira! Come out! This has gone too far. Fergus's mum is really upset. Excuse me. Excuse me, the woman Moira that you're chasing. She tried to help me. And she tried to help Fergus. It's the local man. It's the local man that you're after! He hit me with a stone! I can remember now, he hit me with a fucking stone! Hang on, it's that local guy the cop told us about, um, McHugh? Yes! Please, let me speak to him. Moira! Moira! It's me, Justin! Diamond Dog! You call me David! She thinks I'm David Bowie. You need to come out! Have you got Fergus? David! David! I love you, David! The man has Fergus! He's in there, David! I love you, David! I love you, David. Fergus! Fergus! I don't know who or what you are, but just button it. Okay, I've got this situation under control. Sir, there is a problem. There's a local man called McHugh, uh, Donald McHugh. He's wanted for questioning about the murder. McHugh? Oh, fuck it. My promotion's dead in the water anyway. Same as the bastard that caused this. What are you doing? You can't, there's a kid in there. It's open. Come on. Welcome to the Stein Party. <laughs> Congratulations. 
pound ground zero. The cash sent by me. The Reaper Man. See what I did there? The Repair Man. <laughs> the Reaper Man. I see you have a gun. Yeah, I borrowed it from one of your people. Is it real? <laughs> Seems like it is. They're all dangerous, you know. All these people. I had to kill them. I had to do something. Let the boy go. He's just a kid. I can't that. But he's one of them, eh? Starcash is taking everything I ever had. You know where this place is, yeah? All these buildings. Used to be a lookout barracks during the Second World War. Very historic place, you know. Used to house big anti aircraft guns. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> they commandeered the land from my grandfather. He owned the land. Not that he minded because he was a he was a patriot. He was a pound man. As my father was. When Sandy signed up. All right, Sandy. <laughs> This is Sandy, my brother, he was a hero, a war hero, I was so proud of my brother, the things he saw, I know what you're thinking, <laughs> you're thinking, you are thinking that that is a woman, <laughs> Well, there's no woman, it's a man! My brother. My twin brother. My identical twin. I had to save him. I had to save him from, from him. From them. The leader brainwashed him and made him go with them. All those followers, all those evil followers. That pervert Keaton. He tried to take him away from me. But I wouldn't let him. I brought him home. And I'm going to turn him into the man he used to be. All right, Sandy. <laughs> a couple of days' time. I've been in a shitty bar having a pint. <laughs> With my brother. <laughs> uh, by the way, did you enjoy your burgers? <laughs> Got this here, Mr. Keaton. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful morning. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful day. I've got this wonderful feeling. Everything's going my way. <laughs> I love them. But I'm a woman now. Fifteenth of June, eighteen eighty-three. William Scott. We should just be up here around the corner. And the dead shall rise from the graves. The dead shall rise. 
from that race. The dead shall rise from that race. Come on, let's go. No. Thank you, Tom. Is that it there? Here it is. I've got here just as they've erected the headstone. It looks awfully familiar, strangely enough. Such a shame. Awful. I had everything. Talent, money, a new wife to start his new life with. Makes you... I can't believe he kidnapped his own brother. His own twin brother. His name is Sandy, but he changed it to Sandra. That's him there. No, her. There. Poor people. Well, at least they're together now. Forever. That looks like a puzzle. Even in death, he cashes on. <laughs> I've even got the cash handle on the stone. Special. Jack San won. Does that get something to do with Star Cash? Pink is the secret. Searching, searching, buffering, searching again. Pink eye. Pink Floyd, Pink Dolphin, Pink Dolphin? Pink Dolphin, what the hell, there's millions. Hold on, hold on, Pink Floyd. An early album of theirs was called Saucer Full of Secrets. That's the secret cash. That's the cash he said that he was going to take to the grave. That's the million dollar cash. And a first to find. <laughs> Never mind a first to find. What's going on? A Saucer no, Full of Secrets has got a track on it that set controls to the heart of the sun. Set controls for the heart of the sun. What are the coordinates? We no, set the controls for that, it's so not set the what? Oh, hold on, you maybe want to something there. Yes. Set control for the heart of the sun. Ah, here we are. Right, just comma, no, bracket, comma, zero dot, zero dot, bracket. I knew I'd seen this somewhere before. It was one of his videos. There was all sorts of cool cash videos, but that was in the background of one of them. The Star Cash Corporation must have thought it'd be fitting to put his and her name on it. Now, we need to go to the Star Cash site. Okay, million dollar cash. Right, we've only got one shot. You really think this could be the million dollar cash? Well, I'm not sure, but we might as well use up our guess. Right. So, right, it says here, write the answer into the cash, into the box provided. The coordinates of the sun, so obviously we can't get there physically, but we can virtually. And... Yes. The sun is a star. 